everyone and welcome to your HIV course. You must be wondering what I'm doing sitting here surrounded by Christmas lights and a Christmas tree. Well, it happens to be New Year's Eve of 2018. So I wish you every happiness for uh, the, the coming year and especially for your studies with us at the University of Greenwich. For those of us who haven't met yet, my name is David Evans and I'm your module leader. Um, as part of our courses, the module leaders are um, uh, expected to say a few words at the beginning, just by way of introduction. So I'd like to introduce myself, but especially in relation um, to the subject matter of this course, to HIV. When the word AIDS was first invented, and obviously before that, there was something called GRID, which we'll explore during this course. Um, I was 24 years old and studying for the Catholic priesthood in Canterbury. I'd already completed five years of nursing studies and then spent the next seven years studying to be a Catholic priest. So I suppose for any of us who had had sex up until that point, um, there was a worry and a concern. The, the, the first name for AIDS was GRID, the Gay-Related Immune Deficiency. So there was a panic whether um, our, our very sexual orientation was the reason why some people were dying. Then obviously, before I entered the Franciscan order, um, as a young student nurse, I had had sex. So uh, if there was some sort of incubation period with this new, whatever this illness was, then it was a really worrying time for all of us. But that also spurred me on to wanting to find out more about it, and especially to understand why um, the Catholic Church and other religions can be quite homophobic in their traditional beliefs. So both being gay and living in a world in which HIV was announced so early on have given me great opportunities in life to study um, all of these aspects of life, of different ways of being, of caring. Um, it's given me the opportunity to explore these uh, for, for, for quite a few decades now. Okay, so um, the first people I knowingly uh, worked with who were living with HIV were when I was actually ordained as a priest and working in parish life. And that was back in um, about 1986-87. I actually left the Catholic priesthood in 1989 and returned to nursing. And I worked on an HIV ward at St Mary's in Paddington. They were the bad old days in HIV client care when so many people were dying and quite often we could have maybe about six deaths a week um, working on that ward. I was only there for seven months when I jumped from being a staff nurse to my first teaching post as a lecturer practitioner in HIV studies and that was in 1990 and I've been really fortunate enough to be teaching sexual health and HIV studies ever since 1990. In 2014, I was awarded a National Teaching Fellowship, which is the UK's highest achievement for excellence in teaching at British universities. In 2017, I received the, 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 the most spectacular honour by being appointed by Her Majesty the Queen as an officer in the most excellent order of the British Empire for services to nursing and sexual health education. Then in 2018, um, I achieved a Principal Fellowship of the Higher Education Academy, which is Certification for Strategic Leadership of Education and Learning. Then in September of 2018, I achieved the Professoriate, becoming the University of Greenwich's first Professor of Sexualities and Genders, Health and Wellbeing. This is a really long title, I know, um, but I'll actually explore it with you and explain why I've chosen it. I really hope you enjoy this course, and I encourage each and every one of you now to introduce yourselves. If you slide down the homepage, you will see this little forum icon, which says, say hello and introduce yourself to the rest of us. So although you'd all be introducing yourselves to us um, on the course when we meet physically, it would be nice to get to know some of you now, um, whenever it is that you're signing online. Okay, I really hope that you enjoy this course with us and it, that it's gonna be a wonderful learning opportunity for you. And I look forward to meeting you really soon. Thank you and Happy New Year. Bye-bye. <laughs>